the geometry that we're going to be creating can kind of that's kind of can be a base for that. So if we take a look at this, if we start to build the body of the robot, we can see that it's pretty much a cylinder type of shape. Now it's got these shoulders coming off and it's it's got some changes to the shape, but basically it's a cylinder. So I think that's a good place to start. Let's go ahead and bring in a cylinder just by clicking and holding down, coming over here to cylinder, and it'll drop a cylinder right into our scene. We can now move this up in either view. And we can change the size of the cylinder. We can either use the handles or we can use the sliders over here. So I'm just going to pull this out so it's the right width. And then you can see where this is angled. And so I'll just get it kind of close as far as that goes. Now the rotation segments, I want to have, make sure that I have an edge going right down the middle. Um, if you can't see these lines, you can go in and turn on wireframe lines. So I want an edge right down the middle. So I want an even number but I don't want quite that many. So I'm going to kind of just dial this down until I get a good number. So I think 24 gives us a good one. It's got one going down the middle and then it also has a couple right on the edges of this detail here, which I think will be good. So let's add 24 on the rotation segments. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and add uh, segments coming in along the height. But you actually don't have to do that right now. So let's go ahead and leave that off. Now, as far as the uh, the caps go, I don't actually want to have these caps. I want to make my own geometry for the top of this. And so let's turn off the caps. So we'll just go into the caps tab, turn off the caps, and that just gives us a hollow cylinder. Okay, so now that we've got this, um, the next thing I want to do is kind of angle the top and bottom. And we can't do that while this is still a primitive. So let's make this editable. Now that this is editable, let's come into the side view. I'm going to go to the, use the point tool. Let's use the rectangle selection. And as we select this, we want to come over here to the attributes. And I want to turn off only select visible elements. I want to select everything all the way through. So I'm going to turn that off. That'll allow me to drag across all those points. Go to rotate. And let's just rotate those up a little bit. We can go to move. Kind of move them down. Let's do the same thing down here. So I'm going to select all of these. Let's rotate these a little bit. Something like that. Let's kind of move it down. So something along those lines. Now, as we start to build these models, it can be easier if we only have to deal with one side. And knowing that this model is symmetrical, we can actually use a generator to get the other side of it. So let's go ahead and change to our polygon tool. Again, rectangle selection. And you can see here, I'm, I'm dragging halfway across this polygon, but it's not selecting it. So I'm going to turn on Tolerant Selection. That will allow me to just select that whole half. And then all we have to do is delete that. Now, anytime you delete some polygons in Cinema 4D, there are going to be points left over. For instance, if I go to the point tool, you can see all these extra points here. Now, we can select those and delete them, or we can just right-click, go to Optimize to get rid of those points. Okay, so now we've basically got half of our cylinder here. To get the other half back, we can go into our generators. Let's add a symmetry. And remember, we need to add this as a child of the symmetry object. So we'll drop that in. Make sure symmetry is set to the correct plane, and it is the ZY plane. So it's going to mirror across the X. And you can see now we get this, this uh, cylinder. It looks like a, a complete cylinder, but... Now, all we have is one half to deal with. And if we move one half, the other half automatically changes. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to start to um, create some geometry across the bottom. So from here to here, I want to bridge across that gap. So there are a few ways um, that we can go about this. Let's go ahead and select our edge. We'll select this edge and this edge. I'm going to go to Stitch and Sew, and then I'm going to hold down Shift and drag from this point to this point. And you can see that fills that in with geometry. Gives us a nice uh, straight line going all the way across. All right, now coming in from the front view, you can see that we actually have this angle right here. So let's add that in. Let's come in, and you can see here, we'll, we'll go to Point Mode. I'm going to bring this up, and you can see that this needs to come down just a little bit. 
And let's pull this in a bit. And then these I'm going to pull up. And so we create that sort of angled look there. Pull those up. And then those. And we can see kind of what that looks like. Let's grab that one right here. And I'm just going to pull that up to make a nice kind of smooth line there. So now we're starting to get that shape that we'll have for the legs. And you can come in and see if that matches up from that view. And you can see it actually matches up pretty well with the side there and where that leg is kind of attached. So now we're starting to get that, that basic shape. And remember, we just started with a simple, a simple cylinder. Now I do want to fill this in with geometry. So one of the ways that we can do that, we'll go to our polygon mode. Well, let's go up to, uh, I believe it's mesh. And we want to find the closed polygon hole, which is in the create. So closed polygon hole. And if we hover over this opening, it'll give us the option to add a polygon to that. Now, if you remember our discussion on n-gons, this is a big n-gon. And so we want to spend a little bit of time tweaking this and making it appropriate for what we want to do. We don't want to have that giant n-gon. And so you can see we're right here. This curve is a little bit off. So I'm going to take this and just move it straight up just a little bit. So it's a little bit cleaner. And let's do the same thing back here, just so it's a bit cleaner. Let's select this n-gon. Select it like that. And now I want to extrude this in so we get a nice tight edge all the way around. So to do that, we can right click, go to extrude inner. So I can access those tools here. There's hotkey combinations. If you see the, the tilde, it just means to hit those keys in sequence. We can also come up to uh, mesh and we can come into some of the tools here and find some of the th same thing. So extrude, extrude inner. But if I just hit I, click and drag, I can create that sort of extrusion right in there. Okay, and so I can do a, a thin one and you can modify this here by changing the offset. Okay, and then I want to do another one that's the same size as this sort of raised area there. So let's repeat that. So Pull that in just a little bit more until it's about the same size as that. Then we, if we want to extrude this actually out, we can do a regular extrude, pull it out from the body. So we can change that offset amount. And then we could come in and sort of rotate this back a little bit. Maybe move it back into the body a bit. Just adding a little bit of detail there. Okay, let's go ahead and end here and we'll come in in the next lesson and